boats and pound it. What in the goddamn hell are you doing in Canadian waters? Where's the boat at now? New Bedford. Shit. I never should have trusted you. I do not understand the way you're built. You built me. I did not. You can't work with people. You can't get along. You have no allegiance. You have no commitment to anybody but yourself. Mr. Eldridge, with, with all due respect, that's not true. You're wrong. It's incredible. Shit they make you wear in this joint. You got a knife on you. Can you boys help me get out of here? Is that my shirt you're wearing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I found it on the boat. What's your dad think about you fishing, Charlie? Uh, honestly, Mr. Eldridge, not much. Smart man. <laughs> it's not your fault, Tom. I've been chased off the line many times. That could have been me. Just plain old dumb, bad luck. Seems to be running in the family here lately. Get your boat back, I promise. No, you're going to get your boat back. My boat? Yeah. I die, you get the boat. And all the headaches that go with it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Uh, maybe, maybe if we worked it together or I had gone made for you, but, you know, I got nothing to do with it. Give it to your crew. Give it to Bucket Charlie. I, I don't want the boat. You want my boat, Charlie? <laughs> no, sir. Sorry, Mr. Eldridge, I, I want to get in the middle of this. Hmm. You, you guys need to talk. No. Tom won't change. I can't change. Let that be a lesson to you, Charlie. You live, you die. It's the in-between that counts. Finest guy. 